The search for bodies at a residential school in Brantford continues, but survivors say they are facing a significant roadblock. Daniel, Daniel DeGraw has more on this story tonight. Good evening, Danielle. Thank you, Jason. The Survivor Secretariat is a group of people who survived the Mohawk Institute, a residential school which was located in Brantford, Ontario. Their mission is to assist in the search for unmarked burials of Indigenous children on the school grounds. Recently, their federal funding was cut drastically. Laura Arndt is the group's uh, leader in the investigation in the ground search for bodies. She says it's devastating. And we found out Wednesday, it wasn't $3 million, it's 500000 It's an 86% cut in funding to us. Other board members feel if their work doesn't continue, survivors won't have the information to properly process what happened to them, including survivor Roberta Hill. It was pretty devastating. I mean, I went there when I was six. Our family was like our dad had died, our mother was sick. She was taken away, so there were seven kids that were still, like, at home. It was a traumatic experience for her and for all survivors. Shirlene Bomberry says it's empowering to talk about her experience at the Mohawk Institute. Their voices being heard is motivation for the search to continue. I'm going to be 69 this year, but 24 years ago, I took off this coat of shame and guilt that I carried from when I was 10 years old. Some pretty compelling stories, Jason. A group from the Survivor Secretariat will be traveling to Ottawa over the next 24 hours. They have a meeting with Indigenous Services Canada to discuss the impacts of the cuts to funding. They are hoping to find a solution to fully continue their search for survivor remains.